This wasn't always a grove. Where you now sit, there were once buildings, houses, and families, and farms, and fishing boats. The village of Kogisu. But that was a long, long time ago, and only I remain to tell its story, or its many stories. For as any town knows, there are hundreds of stories for every stair and chimney. But the greatest one, the story of how Kogisu became deserted and overgrown with vines and leaves and the roots of trees, lies in a secret kept by the spirit. Secrets. We all have them. We all hide them. Secrets you keep from your friends, your family, the person sitting next to you, me. And I have secrets I'm hiding from you. One that I will tell you, just between us, is that Yukiona exists, the snow woman. And her story was the greatest of all. Do we have a deal, Yukiona? 
No. I will make you another offer. I will let you both live to return to your village. Why do I have a feeling there's a catch coming up? You must convince the villagers to stop the face of my mountains. Oh, well, that'll be easy. Once I tell them what no. happened. You will be sad. You will tell no one what has occurred here today. Or else. Or you will meet your fate. Immediately. Horribly. All right. You swear you will speak no word of this? I swear I will not tell a single person. Then you and your friend may return to the living. Take this silk, hold it aloft, and walk in the direction it blows in the wind. It will lead you safely home. Thank you. Thank you, Yukiyon. I will never forget this. It would be easier for you. Yukiona? What? Was that a dream? Jiro! Jiro, are you alive? <laughs> right. Follow the silk. And so, after what seemed like many more days, Keske and Jiro returned, barely alive, to our village. Keske? Jiro! You're alive! Everyone, you're alive! How? How long have we been gone? A month! It's not really my 
It just came to me. Sounds inconvenient. Let the trees replant themselves. I've got better things to do. You got this idea on the mountain? Yes. Comes up from the mountain and suddenly he's a prophet? <laughs> no way. Think about it. It does make sense. <laughs> nice town meeting, Keske. <laughs> Maybe we ought to hold stricter standards for what it is. But can you not? It's too late. But I believe you, Keske. I like your idea. You do? I'll try it next time I'm chopping wood. You and I may be the only ones, but it's a start. It is a start, and it was a start. Although that was the last town meeting anyone called for a long, long time, one by one, people started following Kesuke and Satoko's example. A new way to collect firewood had begun. And best of all for me, that town meeting pretty much ruined it to people asking me about the mountain from then on. Months passed. The snow melted. People went back to their everyday lives and gossip. Keske's adventure had faded into memory, and his life had took a turn for the better.